There are big men and there are big men. Look at Jason. 330 pounds of muscle. The man is awesome. The man is ready to take on the world. Remember the name, Jason. I must admit you have outdone yourself. Jason, very impressive fellow. But you know, Mr. Brito, I knew that I needed a protege, a protege that's bigger than sadistic Steve Strong, a protege that's bigger than sadistic Steve Strong. And I was looking, and I was looking, I'm a sports agent, and I found the man with the potential. I found the man that's six foot four, 350 pounds. His name is Jason. So, Steve Strong, I hope you're watching, because in the near future, we demand, we're going to demand, with my lawyers, Weisberg, Steinberg, and Greenberg, we want contracts with Steve Strong. We want weightlifting competitions, and so on and so forth. Well, I'm, I'm glad you do things like that, Floyd, because really, not only the fans, myself, I wonder, I'm curious, is he as strong as Steve Strong is? We will find out. But right now, he's going up against two wrestlers. Anybody that would accept a match like that, to me, is a little nuts. Because let me tell you, after all, Milano and this Dave Yang, they are both men, let's face it. Yes, but you know, when you're standing aside on the side of this Jason, you see the body on the man? When you're standing beside Jason, everybody looks small. That's right. Look, it's the width of his shoulders, the thickness of his chest that's very impressive. And I know he is strong. Already he's been going down to local gyms. Fools around with 500 pounds on the bench, 400 or so pounds military press, heavy 120 pound curl. I mean, you got to do it. Now, it's fine to work out with the weights and all that, but now we will have to see his skills as a wrestler. He told me, he said, Floyd, he said, I don't want one opponent, I want two opponents. I said, okay, put your name on the dotted line and I'll get you two opponents. And they're in the ring right now against Jason, and he's cleaning up. But Floyd, I hope that you won't have him wrestling two opponents all the time. What if he had to wrestle Steve Strong? Would you put him in with Steve Strong and, let's say, uh, Crow Fat or Junior or somebody else? You wouldn't do that, would you? No, 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 no. Don't mix apples with oranges now. Well, now, now, he's going to be wrestling June the 1st. He's on the card in Verdun Auditorium. He's wrestling against, I think, Denny Goulet, yes. but he's going to use him as a stepping stone, as a monument on his way to the top, Mr. Brito, but what he really wants is sadistic Steve Strong. Well, of course, uh, it would be a natural, wouldn't it? A match between Jason and Steve Strong, but right now Steve Strong is having wars with Kendo Nagasaki, with Charla and Sim. That's why he's teamed up with Crawford and Rujo to meet these guys in Verdun. That's right, yeah, Strong, Crawford, and Rujo against Charlotte Sims, Nagasaki in Verdun, right? Yes, and Steve Strong realizes. He got a Hawaiian punch in the Puerto Rican against the Headhunters. He does realize that he'll have to be more than 100% to face Jason, but I think it will, it will come to pass. Anyway, let's get back to the match. So far, he's body slammed Milano, now he's picking up, no, head Headbutt, beautiful with the match. ABA. Milano retreats. That's I don't it, blame him. The referee it, counts it, for three seconds. Over. Referee could have counted all night, as far as I'm concerned. Mismatch, just the same. That's it. Good night. Sleep tight. That's what's going to happen when Steve Strong walks into the ring against Jason. Well, you know, I keep repeating myself, but we will see. Time will tell. Right now, Dave Bien and Milano just weren't up to it. They just couldn't do nothing for Jason. Jason has a picture in his head. You see, he's going rope to rope. He's nervous. He's thinking he has that name, Steve Strong, and he's going to get Steve Strong within time. Well, anyway, fans, we have just seen Jason in action for the first time on TV. And he's bigger than Strong. He is, I think, heavier than Strong, yes. 
me, I don't know if his arms are any bigger than Steve Strong, but look, you can see the size right now on that still shot. Impressive. How big he is. Here we have the repeat. Where he just picks him up and drops him like a sack of potatoes. He's gonna make nothing but money with this, Jason. That's right. You will, Floyd, one more time. That's one thing you, you can do is make money. There goes uh, Davia into the road. Close line. Close lines him. 24-inch bicep. Oops. And now it's Milano's turn. Yeah. Sure, he's bringing him right into the Bring ring. Him into the ring. Picks him up again. You can see from another angle how power slams him to Ooh, the mat. 360, 50 pounds. And Davia, which is out of it already, as far as I'm concerned, gets that last little headbutt just to make sure <laughs> the product on the camel's back. There you go. One, two, three. It was all over. The winner, no contest. Jason, where's he from? We don't know. 330 pounds of Good long night. Power. Sleep tight. Jason. <laughs> Yeah, a monster on my left. Yeah, you can count him a monster. His name is Jason. You all saw Friday the 13th. Well, this ain't no movie, ladies and gentlemen. This is the real thing. And sadistic Steve Strong. Me and Jason. Well, Jason especially. He challenges you to an arm wrestling contest, a weightlifting contest. It don't matter. Steve Strong, you bench press 600 pounds. You got 24 inch biceps. Well, this man stands six foot five. He weighs 364 pounds of muscle. And anytime you want to go into the gym, anytime you want to put those weights on the bar, he's going to press 700 pounds and he's going to put you to shame. But yeah, June the 1st is a big wrestling night. At the Verdun Auditorium, yeah, he's only against a guy named Goulet. Yeah, Goulet is a French Canadian from the province of Quebec. But Goulet, I don't have to tell you, you're going to go down for the three count because we're going to set an example with you. Because after you, you're going to be a stepping stone. You're going to be a monument on our way to the top because in the near future, we want you to sign your name on the dotted line against, yeah, Jason, Friday the 13th, 6'5", 364 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. Terror, yes, terror is in Montreal, in Ontario, in the province of Quebec. You look out for Jason and his manager, because Sadistic Steve Strong, we're going to follow you all over the world until we get you.